we're back. It's time once again to grab your legendary arms and suit up for rifle season. Darren Newsom is back on the Hartice Ranch, and this time he's brought his family for an epic elk hunt. It all starts now on The Hollywood Hunter. Hartice Ranch is so much fun. We have a variety of game, over 20 years of management, learning the tactics from the MDF, the Mule Deer Foundation, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, the Conservation Service, and there's a waiting list. But we just opened up some other opportunities that are really exciting and near and dear to me, and that is summer excursions, team builder weekends, writers conferences, group adventures. It's been a really fun journey to build it out and to really see the fruits of the labor the clients we have want to continually come back because we give them not only what they expect but we exceed that but i think this is this is probably my sixth or seventh time actually on the ranch darren newsom's the owner of ammo and more and arms Corps ammunition here in the u.s he has become one of my dearest friends in the industry and just one of my dearest friends ever great partner and a great friend to be able to help steer the brand and work directly beside me with hollywood hunter partnering up with ammo and more and arms Corps as title sponsor of hollywood hunter he's all about setting a time limit and getting things done in a really strategic time and place and putting pressure on guys like me to perform so the last several seasons we've been able to kill some giant elk and some giant mule deer together so Darren's bringing Sheridan, her boyfriend Jared, and also his wife Brittany. So there's a few that have not killed elk before, so we're in for an adventure. It should be great and we're fired up. As soon as we drove up the driveway, there was elk galore to the left of the driveway. I just couldn't even believe it. So I knew it was going to be a good time. The lodge, the food, Freddy, it's energy, just a good place to be. In. This is actually my first year hunting. It's a little bit intimidating, especially when I'm with him hunting. So I need to make sure I drop it the first time. The first morning of the hunt, there's elk everywhere. There's a ton of elk across the road. There's elk about everywhere we go. And we know that it's gonna be a great hunt. With hunting elk on the Hartice Ranch, we play it very conservative. During rifle season, in the mornings, we're gonna find them, we're gonna follow them, we're gonna keep our distance, and chances are we're probably gonna bust that animal in the evening. So with Darren bringing his wife, Brittany, we had a running joke going into this hunt that she would be able to hunt her elk right from the lodge and keep her nightgown on. My day went pretty smooth from having a straightener in my hand and Darren running in saying, there's a bull out front, there's a bull out front. And so we start hunting right from the lodge. We have a shooting tower up on top of the house. My dad had designed that so he could actually come right out of bed, go up there, hunt briefly, and go back to bed. So. <laughs> First morning of the hunt, I can't believe it. A bunch of elk just crossed the road. They're all coming up here right by the lodge. Right now, seriously? Thank God my father built the tower up on top here because it gives us a great situation for Brittany to kill a big bull right from the lodge. We want these girls to enjoy themselves, have a good time, and maybe be able to even go back to bed after the nice harvest and uh, see if she can't whack and stack something with the arms Corey. Oh, let's do this. We're uh, trying to put it all together. It's still pretty dark. The elk are moving up toward the timber pretty quickly. The range and getting the gun on the animal and making sure there's no other animals in front of her. As much as it seems like a slam dunk, it's not always as easy as it seems. I stayed on them pretty much the whole time until I could get you know the perfect shot. 
We're trying to keep Brittany calm and she's still rock solid anyway. She gets behind that gun and she's ready to rock. Closes the bolt on that arm score ammo and ready to bust him. Just wait until we tell you, my dear. Let's make sure you're comfortable too. But don't shoot prematurely. Let's just wait. He's taking a step. Hold on. He's chasing a cow. She shoots. Hi, hi, hi. And as she does, it goes right over his back. Well, the elk herd took off running toward the fence line, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't think we're gonna get another opportunity. Arms Chloramo. Right on target, right on the price. Scent Crusher. Scent off. Game on. Raptor Razor takes field dressing to a whole new level. Visit raptorrazor.com. Excalibur Crossbows, the most accurate hunting crossbow. ExcaliburCrossbow.com. Keystone Sporting Arms, home of the Cricket, Chipmunk, and the new 722. Tree Stand Buddy, the quick attach slide mount system for hang on tree stands. Ripcord's new Ace Standard with the Firefall design. See the Ace difference. Hollywood Hunter is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. A shot fired, but no bull yet. Brittany Newsom just fired over the back of a great bull. With the elk moving off, Brittany has one more chance to bring it down. Let's watch. So after the gun went off, the elk are moving down. I grabbed my cow call and I started cow calling like crazy and I couldn't believe it, but I stopped a hundred of those elk, calmed them down. Right there, the one in the back. Yeah. One in the back, take him. They turned around and walked right back up toward where we just shot. I have never in the history of being on the ranch ever seen that happen. He's in the back, he's in the back of the group. The few times we've shot an elk out in front of the lodge, they've taken off and run across the road and gone. This is actually my first year hunting. It's a little bit intimidating. I stayed on them the whole time until I could get, you know, the perfect shot. I just knew she was going to get another opportunity. I kind of hand it over to Darren because I know he can keep her calm and get her rock solid on that gun. If you're on him, you can shoot him. Squeeze her slowly. Slowly squeeze. And I'm just checking the range finder and before you know it, that elk steps out and stands there broadside as I cow call. I was always looking at the place where I needed to shoot him to drop him. And she makes it happen. She puts a great shot into that elk. And the elk goes right down. And the whole herd runs up into the ranch even deeper. And we were stoked because this was a giant seven by six. There at the end when it stopped, we didn't even have to tell her to shoot. She knew that it was a time to shoot it. He's dead. He's dead. It was so great to see Darren and Brittany look at each other and her know that she made it happen under all that pressure. I think he's a six. That's amazing. Let's go down. Let's go down and get him. I barely had to get out of bed, so that's a plus. <laughs> As we're walking up to the cell, I just see Darren and Brittany in their eyes, just excitement and her being able to shoot her biggest elk of her life there with me was very special. Wow. Those wow. two are just near and dear to me, very special people. That's a big mature bull. Great representation. And you got your face on? Yeah. I know this hunt made it look like it was really easy and it all kind of come together and hey, carpe diem, seize the moment whenever we can get it. We're right in the middle of about a quarter million private acres so it's, it's exciting to see what it can produce. We found out later that, that the opportunity didn't present mm. itself for Sheridan. It's been a slow morning. We heard a few bugles, but they were pretty far off. She was really excited that Brittany was able to kill one. You know, I think she was just excited as if she would have killed one. You see some? No. Didn't see any. That morning, it was so great to be able to see Brittany's elk and everyone kind of congregate and get back together. And it's almost like once you draw blood, then things just start to happen. And I knew there was more to come. I'm feeling so incredibly great today. It started out with a bang, literally. Brittany killed a great bull, and it takes a lot of the pressure off. Bringing a bull down right away is making it for a great start to the hunt. So now we're rolling into the evening hunt, and we're leaving early. I'm taking Darren out. 
we're heading up to a beautiful lookout area where you can see this whole valley for miles. What we're doing is we're hitting this lookout area. We have a bunch of rocks here on the edge. We can see the whole canyon. We're just gonna sit here, glass and glass and glass. And it was really a timing game. When you're getting into these rifle hunts, these big bulls start getting smart quick and they don't come out until the last 15, 20 minutes before dark. You gotta be incredibly patient. Keep the wind in your face. A lot of times you smell them before you can see them. We're gonna wait until 15, 20 minutes before dark and we're only gonna hit the bottom of this canyon because I thought there was a big giant bull in there. The first afternoon after we got her elk taken care of, we ended up just getting on a high point and just glassing. I'm glassing and glassing every little piece of woods and meadow I possibly can. Take a few steps in glass, take a few steps in glass. Getting into a situation with a giant elk at close range on the ground walking up a canyon, that's not easy to put together. Maybe the elk were down in these little valleys, staying out of the wind feeding, so we decided to leave our lookout. And we come in on a domino effect, where we got one person in front of the next. So if I stop, they all start running into me. Freddie actually said, I'll go ahead, Darren will go in the middle, and then you go behind him. Four that we're trying to keep looking like one and not let these elk see us as we're coming through. I get up to this first meadow, and perfect timing. Before you know it, whoa, I see a tip of an antler just stepping out, coming down into that meadow. And I'm like, oh my gosh. As this bull's walking down into this meadow, we stop, we halt. He's coming down, has no idea we're there. At this point, it was like, we gotta make this happen now. It's Darren Newsom up to bat, and a trophy bull has just entered his sights. It's time to take that legendary arms rifle and let the arms corps ammo fly. Walk silently and move fast. That elk is gonna bolt. As this bull's walking down into this meadow, we stop, we halt, he's coming down, has no idea we're there. We're flipping out, Darren climbs up on the hill, and I can't believe that elk didn't spot them. It's walking up and it's going away from us. I said, get ready boys, he's gonna stop. You know what, some elk, right before they leave the area, they kind of look back at you and you get that split second of a chance. He stops broadside and right at that time, Darren's on the hill getting the gun ready against a tree and the bull's walking up. He looks at me, I don't say a word, but I give him the go as I wink at him. <laughs> Boom, he hammers that elk. And the elk turns and I cow call, stops again, boom, and hammers him again, and all of a sudden it's a wheelbarrow effect of this big giant rack just in the grass, pushing his way toward the woods, trying to get away from us. And we were all on fire. We freaking did it again! We did it again! I mean, we were so lit up and excited to know that we connected with him and it was such a special situation. If that doesn't speak for the ammunition, nothing does. Are you kidding me? That is a giant bull elk. Let's get up to him before it gets dark. Look how big he is in the back. Freaking awesome bull. Look at the mass on him. Look at this freaking giant. To kill two bulls like this the first day. So now we're at the end of the first day. We have two giant bull elk on the ground. These guys are fired up and it's all coming together. We get back to the lodge. Everyone's excited. My mom's there. That Mom, is he awesome. was. He it was, was so great to have her there experiencing this with us. And we put it up on the TV and show the hunt and then partake in a real special meal. I mean, it was, it was amazing to talk about the hunt, to have fine dining and kind of put it all together saying the first night is a wrap. It doesn't get better than this. The next night, this is the last night Sheridan was supposed to be here. I need to get something tonight because I have to leave at one o'clock by tomorrow. Ryan better find me an elk tonight. <laughs> so they get into a real good position where they can sit and just wait it out because those elk are gonna funnel out into that meadow. They've had no pressure up until now. It should come together. That evening, the elk start funneling out early about five o'clock and Ryan sees a giant bull at a distance, and it was just a waiting game. These elk are funneling in front of them, calves and cows, but the big bull hung up in the trees. 
So they're in a dilemma right now because they have a real good bull stand in front of them, but they know there's a bigger one in the timber. So Sheridan being a real seasoned hunter and being able to hunt some of the greatest areas in the West and killing giant bulls, she was gonna hold out. This girl is the real deal. She just isn't out there just to kill something. She wants to kill the, the bigger animal, the older animal, the more mature animal. We got elk right in front of them and they still don't see the bull they want and it's getting very <laughs> scary that these elk are gonna bust. And it's back and forth, back and forth for a series of minutes thinking that, gosh, this cow's gonna bust and the whole herd's gonna go. The elk are getting nervous, they're starting to move off. So these guys wait until they get off and Ryan decides to circle around, try to get in a better position to get a shot. Time's running out, it's starting to get dark. We got a few minutes to the end of shooting light. The big bull steps out where they can see it. They got about three, four minutes of shooting light. She's trying to take a several hundred yard shot off her knee. So Sheridan gets on the elk. Oh, I see him. Walking. And boom, she shoots and it goes right over his back. Where's he at? The elk takes off up the hill. What it was is the turret was not on the right yardage and she was shooting high. Sheridan actually went home without an elk, but she loved every minute of that short experience. And even though we did not get that elk, it was a great memory and it was a great hunt with Ryan. It's been very windy this weekend. I'm proud of her because she is an awesome hunter. You can't hear them and also the scent blows. So it's been a tough, tough hunt with the wind. Arms Chloramo. Right on target, right on the price. Scent Crusher. Scent off. Game on. Raptor Razor takes field dressing to a whole new level. Visit raptorrazor.com. Excalibur Crossbows, the most accurate hunting crossbow. Excaliburcrossbow.com. Keystone Sporting Arms, home of the Cricket, Chipmunk, and the new 722. Tree Stand Buddy, the quick attach slide mount system for hang on tree stands. Ripcord's new Ace Standard with the Firefall design. See the Ace difference. Hollywood Hunter is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Two more bulls down at the Hart Ice Ranch. Now Freddy has two more clients to take out before he leaves for Alaska. Get your guns and get your gear. The hunt continues now. We do have another group coming in. This will be my first chance of meeting Mr. Pete and his crew that are gonna be coming in. A lot of them first time hunters. We have a shooting range, it's a 100 yard range. It's away from the main ranch so we can shoot without bothering the animals. We collaborate, get the guns out and start banging away. Pete is really looking to get an exceptional bull. We've talked on the phone for a couple years and it's been a great connection. I'm gonna be part of this adventure, but then I'm gonna need to break away because I'm heading to Kodiak Island, but I know that the pieces will come together. Pete, I wanted to get one hunt in with him before I took off for Alaska. It was destined to bring him down a big bull. I'm Joel DeSocio, first time out this morning. Great experience, had some good opportunities. Had a bull broadside pretty far for what I'm comfortable with. Get ready for the shot, took the safety off and took a couple deep breaths and sure enough the, the tripod slipped a little bit. So I had to uh, gather myself as soon as I did. He snuck behind some trees so I just wanted to make sure that I was comfortable that I would get a good shot in and just decided to pass today and make sure better opportunity on another day. But it was it was amazing out there, beautiful scenery. Not bad at all. We go out that first morning. Oh, we are fired up. We got our buddy Pete here. I point to Steve and say, hey, walk ahead and just glass down into BC. We have an area we call Buck Central. So he walks up ahead and looks down in there and as he looks, he points to us to come. Steve already sees it. I couldn't believe it was happening this fast. <laughs> These special moments where they kind of just come together, it happens quite a bit. I can't guarantee it, but when it does, we, we seize the moment. I said, what do you see? He said, look down here. And we look down, there's two really big six by six bulls. And they were about 380 yards or so. And 
Uh, we're trying to figure out, okay, what's the best way to get a shot? The One Bull is an exceptional great 350 class elk. I said, Pete, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna have to kill this thing now. And he said, I'm ready. We get in position and Steve's hitting the range finder and I'm making sure he's comfortable. It was all coming together and all this stuff is flashing in front of me because it's been two years in the making of, of planning this trip and putting it together and them understanding this was where they really wanted to be and that they trusted us for the elk hunt of a lifetime. Bang, and you see that vapor trail go right into that elk, and all that bull does is stand there and lifts his one leg, and then the bull falls down as the other one runs up the hill. And as that shot went off, we were watching an 11-year-old bull go down, hit the ground. Can you believe that? You've been driving for 15 minutes. <laughs> as we come upon it, he was even more impressed with what he had taken to the ground. Congratulations, that's a giant. An exceptional bull that massive rack, teeth were almost completely ground down to nothing, may not have made it through the winter because he was so old. What a great elk to pull out of the herd, and he had a lot of meat to take home as well. Nothing like an elk hunt. Thanks guys for everything. What a wonderful hunt. Pleasure. Jeez. Closed captioning has been brought to you by Arms Corps Ammo. Um, I'm definitely coming back next year to hunt on the Hard Ties Ranch. Um, probably not from the tower. Maybe I'll go take a hike. I've hunted all over the world and all over the U.S. and this is one of the places I look forward to every year. Just an amazing place and the work that, that goes into this operation, this is over the top. It's really what we attribute the, the conservation and management to. So now we're heading out. I'm taking the boys and the cameras. We're heading to Kodiak Island, Alaska. 